I'm Gabrielle Antolovich, and I have a really old poem, and maybe it's because I still remember her. <laughs> it's called Karen's Film Can, a reel of memories. It feels like nothing was ever shot about us, and maybe nothing ever was. I'm sure, though, it was only a few days ago we were filming the latest version of the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It started many months ago when I caught your eye looking away from the camera. And yet, when you opened your mouth to kiss, I could see the expression in your eyes turning into a distant glance. It was such a it's such a vague kiss and such a hollow mouth. I swear I heard your spirit scuttling into the corner of your screen. For a minute, I felt like zooming right into the frightened woman to find out what on earth you were fading out about. I felt like turning the sound off so you could see what you were doing and felt like directing you to hold me, <laughs> directing you to hold me, and forcing you to be part of heavy criticism. And that's what you want, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's what you wanted. You want to be running from some spotlight, chasing you around some studio. You want to be part of something like several dress rehearsals to a relationship until you can't stand it any longer. Instead, instead, I let you go. I've grown up and I have stopped chasing elusive actresses. That's right. I don't like these familiar scenes. And so, Letting you go has left us with a very short film. Many would say this was just a one night stand. But life is never as simple as that, especially in lesbian land. Maybe I'll see you sometime, even all this time later. I'm Chandler Massey, and you are watching Outlook Video.
We love to get mail from you. Email us at comments at outlookvideo.org. To contact us by phone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Visit our website at outlookvideo.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash outlookvideo. And connect with us at facebook.com slash outlookvideo. Hi, I'm Jenny. Hi, I'm Allie, and welcome to my channel. Today, what are we doing today? We're doing a girlfriend tag. Like <gasps> girlfriend? Girlfriend tag. Yeah, girlfriend tag. Are we girlfriends? No, we're just friends. So how this works is this is uh, who's more likely to blah, blah, blah. do X and Y. We um, have these nifty little post-it notes that say Allie and Jenny. And so we will hold up whichever one we think is the answer and we'll see if we agree or if we disagree. Okay. And it will be Interesting. a smashing good time. Let's go. Who is Who would arrive earlier to the airport? You. Yeah. Because your parents love to arrive early to the airport. I mean, at minimum, hour and a half before your boarding time. Minimum. That's also just like a dad thing. Like my stepdad does the same thing where you have to be at the airport like six hours, hours before your flight. <laughs> it would okay, definitely Jay. be you. Yeah, it would be me. It would be me. <laughs> yeah, if we were not with our families, uh, left to our own devices, I would want to you. show up early. It would definitely be you. Yeah. Who is more likely to fall asleep first? Me. It's definitely me. Like if we went to bed at the same time, you? Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm just always, I could sleep at any time of the day. That's I true. love to take naps, so I feel like I would always fall asleep first. I'll do it, although I do have a hard time falling asleep at night. Like, yeah. can't shut my brain up. So I guess like, you would want to go to bed earlier than me. Yeah. But you fall asleep I would first when we pass get in bed. Out. Yeah. We like to go to sleep um, listening to like nature documentaries. Um, or mystery diagnosis. She likes mystery me. diagnosis. Um, and I've seen the first five minutes of, of every nature every documentary, nature documentary, documentary, documentary on, the on the planet. Yeah. Oh, it's sad. Okay. okay, next. If there was a zombie apocalypse, who would die first? Absolutely you. I would just sacrifice myself Absolutely you. I've seen enough zombie apocalypse movies that I know how to survive, also I'd run faster. You run faster because you run. I don't <laughs> run. <laughs> I have never once. So uh, Jenny would die first. I would be sad Willing about it, but then I would make it to the bunker. Yeah. So I would hole up in like a Target. Yeah, that's we decided long ago that that's what we would go to the super Target if there ever was like an apocalypse. Yeah. This the coronavirus doesn't count. No, we mean zombies specifically. Yeah, like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, okay. Um, next. Who is more likely to get lost? You, I have an excellent sense of direction. Yes, you do. I have, fun fact, I've been to Disney World so many times that I have the entire map in my head and like my mom will follow me around Disney World. I have a great sense of direction. Yes, you do. So you I'm fine if I have my GPS, but... Without it, you would definitely get lost. Yeah. I don't have a great sense of where things are. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um, oh, we're getting a little personal. All right, I'm ready. Who has more exes? Oh, me. <laughs> Even if you count, like, <laughs> the boys I pretended to date. Me, I have more exes. Yeah. <laughs> I dated, I dated a fair amount in high school and in college too. I almost dated probably more people than you dated. But I definitely dated a lot more yes. people than you almost yeah. dated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's the better dancer? 
neither of us. <laughs> we both suck at dancing. I'm okay at dancing. You're good at like five, six, seven, eight dancing though. I exactly. If like if asked like, to dance in the club, we would both be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I do like blade hands, like it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I have a good memory for dances, I can remember dances, yeah, can but pick up that doesn't mean that my body agrees with what I'm doing. <laughs> I also just like have taken dance my whole life, yeah. but I would say I'm a confident mover, not a dance <laughs> Who said I love you first? I did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you it said was like by accident. accident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell the story. I think we were just sitting in bed talking and nope. where were we? We were FaceTime. Oh, and I was like, oh, I love you. Like as a reaction to something. You were like, we were talking about something and you were like, I would tell them like, I love my girlfriend. And I was like, <laughs> I don't remember what? this particular video. <laughs> and you were like, wait, no. And, and we were like, we want to do it in person. We want to do it in person. Yeah. So I hopped on the train, took a 20 minute train ride and, and met her at the train station. And then it we were was, living in Boston at the time. And then there was like a magical hypothetical video camera going around us in circles, and we were like, "I love you." And but that time you said it first because you came out of the station. Yes. Um, Next, who made the first move? Me. <laughs> me. On our first chat, I was like, "Oh my God, you're so gorgeous," and she totally ignored me. I was like, "Cool." Um. So about the dog in your picture on your profile, um, because I wanted us to be just friends. How and here we are, three and a half years later. Friends. Just friends. <laughs> and you are, you're on the list, friend. You're my friend. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. Friend. Okay. Okay, next question. Okay, go this ahead. Is, this, this is gonna be divided. Okay. Who is funnier? We both think ourselves. <laughs> we actually, we have we, very similar sense of humor. Yeah, we do. I think we're both on the same level of funny. I think we're both funny. Yeah. I think I provide more groaner dad jokes mm -hmm. than you. I think you provide more like honey, like intellectual things. I would say that's I'm, fair. I make stupid jokes. I would say that's fair. That's okay. a fair assessment. Okay. Who is more likely to go skydiving? Probably me. I'm yeah. a little bit more, I think I'm a little bit more adventurous. You would take more risks than me. Yeah. But I've been indoor skydiving yeah. and you haven't. That is a matter of circumstance because we were gonna go indoor skydiving for our and then, anniversary uh, in March. <laughs> and then coronavirus happened. Who is more romantic? Jenny is. Yes. You're hardcore romantic. Mm. She likes to do very romantic things. I love a grand gesture. Like um, on Val was it Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. No, it was for our anniversary. We need you all to. Oh yeah. She did in post-it notes on the floor wrote "I love you" and then. Um, on every post-it note, there was like either a thing she loved about me or like um, a memory we had together. So that was really sweet. She's a diehard romantic. Yeah. That's not to say that I'm not romantic. No, you're not. I'm just not as romantic as you. Yeah. Okay. Who takes longer to get ready? Jenny does a lot more makeup than I do. I do. She's better at makeup than I am. She does a lot more of it. You also spend a lot of time on your eyebrows, which I don't because I have bangs. It's they definitely like you. Things. You know, they are longer to get ready than I do. Yes, I do. Okay, next. Um, okay, this might be dividing. Oh my god. Who is more organized? Both of us. <laughs> We're both really organized. In um, different ways. Yeah, we both will go through the house and like organize things for fun. For fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, we recently, I I organized. She finally let me organize her books in rainbow order. Which is not how I have them. But it's uh, fine. I live to make you happy. And they look beautiful. But yeah, we both like to organize. We both keep a very clean house. I keep a very neat and organized classroom. Yeah. I like things. We clean the apartment every weekend. Yes. I like things very organized. And yeah. so do you. All right. Next. Um. Oh, this this one, I pulled from the hetero. The heteros. The, the hetero, straights. The hetero version of this. The straights. Who's in charge? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm about to agree. I think I'm about to agree with you. Um, Poppy the hamster. Poppy the hamster is in charge. Um, she's the head she's of the household. <laughs> and by God, does she know it? She does. She does. Uh, and so do we. So does the cat. The cat has a healthy fear and respect of Poppy, as she should. Poppy the hamster uh, is in charge. She wears the pants in this relationship, mm -hmm. this household, this universe. I'm picturing uh, her in pants. We are only her servants. Yeah. We live to who is more competitive? 
No, I am. No, I am. Jenny's also like, I'm gonna say it. Please, I'm gonna say it. You're a bit of a sore loser. Yes, I am. <laughs> we play Bananagrams a lot. I'm the reigning queen of Bananagrams in this home. But I am the reigning queen. I do better words than you. Yeah, but the whole point of Bananagrams is to do it faster than your opponent. But my, I'm more impressed. That doesn't, then why don't we just play Scrapple? No. Who does the dirty jobs around the house? Jenny. I have, oh, let's just go through them. I do the cat litter. I, That's um, an allergy thing, though. Yeah, but it's gross. Uh huh. Um, I clean up the cat bar. I. I've also cleaned up. Yes, the cat I know, bar. but it was because I wasn't there. Uh huh. Um, I have snaked the bathtub drain. That was nasty because we both shed. She picks like up crazy. most of the bugs. I I kill bugs. Um. Yeah. It's you. It's me. It's Jen. Who is the best gift giver? I feel like we're both pretty good at giving gifts. We're both gifts. really good. We're both pretty good at giving gifts. Yeah. Last one. Mm -hmm. Who is more patient? Me. I work with preschoolers for a living. I'm very patient. I'm patient-ish. Not with children. No, not <laughs> with children. Yeah, in preschool we teach them how to be people. That's true. And there you have it, folks. Amazing. Well, that was 20 questions. Woo! Now you know us. We know each other now. Even sort of. We already did. <laughs> we already did. That's all for now. We'll see you soon.
And that's a wrap for this month's edition of Outlook Video. You can watch extended versions of our segments and archive past programs on Outlook Video's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Outlook Video. Be sure to click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell for notifications of our latest videos. Also friend us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Outlook Video. Outlook Video is made possible by generous donations from viewers like you and talented volunteers behind the camera whose names you'll see as we close. And if you live in the Bay Area and would like to volunteer at Outlook Video, contact us through our Facebook page. I see you broken and beat. Head pulled down over your eyes. Everybody wants to surrender, darling. You were meant to survive with every star. We are born again Open your heart Spend this time in your head With every star On behalf of the Silicon Valley Pride Board, happy, happy Pride! Pride! Pride!